Hey everyone and welcome to another episode about the LEGO Train Automated Container Terminal. This will be the last episode specifically about this blue crane. Because it's almost done. It feels a bit weird, but yeah, it's almost done. Um, in this video I wanted to show you a software update that I did and uh, some final thoughts. So uh, let's dive into it. The first thing I wanted to discuss with you is a small software update that I made and it has to do with um, the positioning of the containers. Um, this row here has stacks of three high maximum. This row here has two at the max because if you have three containers on this row here, uh, if you pick up a container, you cannot pass it because the crane can't get any higher. But since this is on the outer limit, this line can have three containers. Um, the problem was that when the crane was picking up a container, um, it was moving the X and Y axis at the same time. So for example, if this was the situation and it needed to pick up this container here and move it in that direction, it would pick it up and then started moving it in the X and Y direction at the same time and it was colliding with that container so I didn't want that to happen so what I did is I wrote a small program update that tells the crane that if one of these three positions has a stack of three high then the crane needs to go first in that direction and then move into the y direction. I call this x direction, this y direction. So I implemented that and I uh, performed some uh, other updates on the software as well. Another update that I made was about uh, that this crane could be in a position that it's sitting idle for a few minutes. Um, I don't know yet, it depends on a lot of factors. Uh, the speed of the red crane, how many trains are there, how many containers are there. I don't know yet. I can't calculate that. It is something uh, that needs to become clear when I build up the whole layout. Um, but I think there will be times that this crane doesn't do anything. Well, that's too bad because it's a nice crane and I thought it would be a nice idea to actually have this crane moving while I'm recording for example the red crane and then you see in the background the blue crane moving that's a cool shot so what I came up with is that uh, there will be a timer and this timer will tell uh, the crane that when it's sitting idle for two minutes and it hasn't received a uh, load or unload command from the overall control it's going to shuffle some containers so what it basically does is it, it's going to pick up a container and put it on another place uh, three times. Uh, that's a routine that I wanted to show you. And it doesn't, maybe it doesn't make sense, but it actually does. Because, for example, uh, when it wants to pick up this container here, the lowest one, um, it needs to first move these two containers first. So we're gonna sh it's going to shuffle around some containers as preparation for another load or unload um, command uh, coming from the overall control. So that's the idea. Speaking of the overall control, which is in that building over there, you see there's also an Arduino. Um, it's connected to the uh, controller of the, uh, of the crane with some hardwired signals. And as you can see, I connected some of those signals with LEDs, so I can actually see what the status is of the communication. And now I know what's, what's happening, but I can assume that uh, when the whole thing is running and there's some unexpected, unexpected behavior of the crane, I can tell by the signals of the LEDs in what kind of state the crane is at that certain point. So enough talking, let's see what the crane does with the shuffling system. I already installed a, uh, the program, so I just have to activate the powered up hub. And uh, the first thing it's going to do is scan the containers to get uh, the initial status, so it knows how many containers are in which spot.
And then it's going to shove all the containers. So it's picking up from that position. And as you can see, it's now moving to that position over there. And it's going to do this three times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. There's still a programming error, I believe. Let's say what the screen says. No stack is three high, it says here on the screen. But that's not correct. It was three high, but it kicked it off. And as you can see, the program has also stopped now. So um, it has encountered an error. I built in a function and uh, that makes sure that the system stops when it comes in an undefined state. So it ran into some trouble. Um, why? I, I don't know. It worked before. So <laughs> I'm going to dive into the software and, uh, and have a look what, uh, what the problem might be. So there was a boolean parameter that didn't get reset all the time that caused the error. So uh, let's try again. Scanning the containers. Let's get shuffling. And now it has to go around the other container. Yeah. Second container. Feels like picking that one again, that spot. All right. Turn off the uh, compressor. Well, as you could see, it has totally random. Well, you didn't see it go random because you only see it once, but trust me, it's random. It randomly picks up containers and putting it in other places. If you look at the accuracy of the placement of the containers, there is some to gain but it's not so much so i can't do really anything about these kinds of offsets so for now i'm happy and uh, it doesn't give any trouble also with uh, loading the uh, monorail so i tested it by first shoveling the containers um, and then loading them on the monorail so they are are some offsets on the containers on the container yard and then loading them on the monorail that didn't give an issue so i believe it's fine and it will work properly so of course i have some detailing to do um, i want to build a road somewhere here using these new road pieces and um, so also a truck can can um, come up here and uh, uh, i don't know get a container loaded on the truck or something like that uh, it's a bit of a special but um, i want to do something like that with uh, loading the uh, the truck and then the truck rides away with uh, stop motion or something like that i don't know yet so this thing works now um that's cool so i'm gonna park it on the side now and before i continue with the red crane which needs to be revived completely <laughs> it has been in storage for i don't know two years or something like that not stories externally but here in the attic but in a dusty corner and um it has fallen down as you can see so and there are some compatibility issues with the blue crane because in the end there are monorails going from this red crane to the blue crane and the distance between these two monorails these are correct but what i didn't take in account was that the monorail monorails that come from the red crane are using magnets to 
position the red grain and those magnets are positioned on this side here on the first car and as you can see if the monorail arrives and there's a magnet sticking out here it crashes into this motor of the switch so <laughs> that's a, a bit of an issue that um, it's difficult to solve also because I could obviously turn the motor around so the magnet is on this side and the motor is on that side but as you can see there's no space right now and I can make some space by moving the whole thing a bit to the left but then I have to recalibrate everything on this blue uh, crane which works perfectly now so I prefer not to uh, stronger suggestion um, no those are not the right terms I don't want to do that so <laughs> I'm gonna try to find a solution on the red crane but before we continue with the red crane I'm gonna make a uh, 2022 train layout um, just a quick and dirty small video about uh, the new trains coming out and um, yeah to keep my channel a bit alive because I haven't uploaded a lot lately and I need to upload a bit more so that's what I'm gonna do also so um, please do check out my uh, my main channel uh, for that video it's not available yet of course because the, the trains aren't there yet there isn't a layout here take some time of course but I'm gonna build a nice layout with some uh, 2022 sets train sets and also some other city sets so um, that's it for now Thank you for watching. Next time you're going to see this blue crane will be probably when I'm installing the whole thing. So red crane is fixed, blue crane is fixed, and then we're going to connect all the pieces together. But first we have to look at the red crane, as I said before. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.